So here we are again. We're going to talk about surface profiles and what that means with regard to resin flooring. I'm not talking about um, polishing concrete or flattening a floor. I'm talking about the right preparation for resin flooring. So here we have a scenario where uh, we did some blasting. We shot a bit deep here and we've gone from you know, uh, CSP3 perhaps, some, some, you know, as it's called CSP3 here, to something far more aggressive here. And it, what it did, it, it made me think about what is the actual meaning or what was the intent of the CSP, the, the concrete surface profiles, being able to define a profile. And these days we tend to use that CSP number as um, well, suppliers tend to use that number as something that is deemed acceptable for that type of flooring system. So you have to get the floor to a CSP 3 or 4 in order to um, be suitable for this type of roll coat. Now, having seen this and seen how it's damaged the slab, and there's no doubt about it, I'd rather be trying to bond to a tight-knit cream concrete that has no latents on it than trying to bond to something that's showing aggregates. I'm going to get a way better bond to something that's permeous, uh, permeable and porous like that than I am to something there that now has non-porous stone showing. Now, does that mean that what we've, what we've done is actually we, we're going about it the other way around? Perhaps CSP profiles should be used the other way around. Perhaps it should be more about saying if you have a floor that you've prepped and it is a CSP 3 to 4, then you can't use a thin sealer on it. Now that's logical, right? But maybe that's how, you know, that, maybe that's the greater benefit of understanding CSP. Because if we take it, yeah, well I should just use another example. If we get a, a more coarser CSP profile, like a 5 to 6, something that's perhaps bush hammered, or has been scabbled or something, well then of course we can't use a roll coat on it and expect it to produce a flat floor and, and look even and all that sort of stuff. We have to rebuild the floor because the profile of that concrete surface, prep concrete surface is now more than what the thin film roll coat can cover. So is CSP more about telling us what system do we have to use on the attainable profile than it is the other way around? So that sort of questioning is, is something that I'm finding quite interesting. And what prompted me to start asking those questions was in fact that in, in Australia, the vast majority of floors are prepped using grinding equipment. So CSP, if you want to talk about that, CSP two to three. Unless they're putting bush hammers underneath it, you're not going to get a greater profile than CSP two to three and yet they're installing massive amounts of six millimeter trowel downs, whether it's epoxies or PUs, over the top of a CSP two to three finish. Now, if you followed that ICRI terminology, then you'd be saying, well, that's not good practice. You need a greater profile. You need something that has bigger variations, bigger, more texture in it before you go and put the thicker film on it. But there are hundreds of thousands of square meters that are proving that CSP 2 to 3 is delivering a satisfactory result. So perhaps it's not about the profile, perhaps it's more about understanding the porosity, how the resins seep into the different profiles or the concrete than having a mechanical profile. So I can understand if you have a non-porous substrate like steel that you need to have a mechanical profile. You know, and they talk about um, white finish being, uh, I think it's a 75 micron jagged edge profile. And I get that, but concrete is porous. So as long as we're removing the latents on the top, the contaminants on the top, that's stopping things permeating into the slab, then perhaps that should be our focus around preparation. So I'm gonna do some playing around with that subject. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to figure something out, try to work with understanding, giving me a little bit more clarity as to what what should profiles be about? And how could we actually determine what's the acceptable porosity of the concrete that we want? Um, and then what, what, what is the right preparation to achieve that? 
I think it's a fascinating topic. It's um, it's a bit of a bit of a questionable one. There's lots of people that are going to think that that's utter rubbish, and you should stick to CSP and use them as it is. But I think that there's there's some significant grey areas there, and I'll quote you an example. So one of the biggest companies in the world, Sika, produces a roll coat, and they produce a technical data sheet in Australia, and they produce a technical data sheet in the US. In the data sheet in the US, it talks about having a CSP 3 to 4 profile for this roll coat. Now, that tells you it needs to be a certain profile. In Australia, they don't talk about having a CSP 3 to 4, they don't even talk about shop blasting, they talk about grinding. So here is a massive organisation with all the resources in the world to determine what's the best form of preparation for a flooring system, and yet there's still grey areas. So I think this is a worthwhile exercise. I think there'll be lots of manufacturers that will be asking this question, and if there's manufacturers asking the question, then I think there's going to be lots of applicators, specifiers and so forth asking the same question. I'd love your feedback on this. I'd love to get into some real depth uh, understanding and, and um, gain your experience from different things. Be prepared to get uncomfortable about it. Don't have to get defensive. Let's get into the detail and figure out what's what. Anyway, I'm Resin Jack. It's a big long email, sorry, but I needed, to, I needed to frame the question the right way so that we can get some really good dialogue on this one. I look forward to your comments. As always, take care and keep smiling.